first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Mecha Kodesh, the blunders to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. All right, and uh, I wanted to do this video, you know, basically inspired by recent events, and uh, you know, I've been meditating upon the different um, things and articles that have been coming out, and the direction that is is gearing towards which we we go into this all the time all right but the coming hell okay very very soon this this they these devils are planning to do something very very soon something big all right because as of right now there's so much going on at once that you know it's, it's sort of hard to keep eyes and focus on one thing you know and these devils like to do that a lot they like to throw out so many different things at once that you don't know which one they're gonna you know, harp harp on or use to, to create something bigger. You know, they try to make all of them of equal magnitude in terms of disruptions so that as you're looking at one place, something is going on in another and vice versa to constantly keep your attention split. All right, but ultimately we know that they're, they're, they're setting up something big for one final push, all right, to launch everything straight into that NWO, Okay. Now you have this whole situation going on in Afghanistan, and I I just saw a video actually of um basically there's this lady that went to Walmart and she said she had to see for herself. Now she I didn't finish the video, but she went to Walmart and she's like, I mean, I, you can see it on the camera how there's it's pretty much empty. Now it's not just basic empty; it's like the whole front section is gone empty, not not even shelves. Okay, just bare land, not land, but just space. And as you go towards the shelves, it's completely empty. You know, and she's saying, well, this could be them remodeling, but this could also be them getting it ready for something. Now, the DHS has issued a, out a, um, a terror, terror alert warning. They have an article saying that there's been suspected terrorists amongst the refugees coming in and the people coming in through the border. All right, you got this whole situation in Afghanistan. You got these people who are still, we're, we're still getting closer to those mandates. The dates set for the mandates. You know, you have you have people in France talking about how bad it is over there, pretty much under medical martial law. All right, I believe uh, Australia as well. And all these things are getting ready to, uh, to hit here. And they're all going to hit here in a major, major way. Just you watch, man. Just you watch. The tension is so thick. You know, it's just one match needs to be lit. And that fire is going to completely devour, man. Okay, Yahweh Bashem El Shai is getting ready to bring true hell on earth. And it's that close. So, it's very interesting to see what the next few, I mean, now, we next few days, you know, next few weeks, you know, next couple of months are going to look like. And what tone is going to be set for 2022 okay which two plus two plus two is six but i'm just i'm just throwing that out there just just something i noticed anyway revelation 12 and 12 it says therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil has come down unto you having what having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time so wrath and a lack of time is a recipe for mass death. And that's exactly what they want to do. These de they're, they're, One of their, their New World Order slogans is expect no mercy. All right? Expect no mercy. And those stupid enough, okay, to go along and, and listen to the devil, you're going to deserve every bit of what you get. Who shall pity a charmer that is bitten by a snake? What business do you have trusting in the devil, even after you've been warned? And you try to come at us, the Most High is going to destroy you. You're going to suffer. That's the hell that's coming. That's the great wrath that's coming upon the earth because the Lord is going to put the spirit on these devils to have no mercy. If you look at the, the, them in the past, they never had mercy. They didn't have mercy on the old. They didn't have mercy on the young. They didn't have mercy on the women or the children. None of them. 
So they're not getting ready to have mercy now. And that's why it's, what they're warning us, the scriptures are warning us about it, is that there's going to be such great wrath in such a short time. All right? That's, that's the hell that's coming. And you got people walking around like everything is all sweet and dandy, ignorant. Okay? Complete idiots just walking around like everything is sweet and dandy, man. And may Yahweh Hashem Yahushai bring that judgment. Okay? Bring that judgment. Because these people that were born in vain, they don't do anything. And then on top of that, they're wicked. The Most High is going to deal with you, man. Heavily. Very, very soon. The, 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 the hell, the hell, the E in hell is going to apply to you, you, you individuals. All right? The, the hellish things we read about... You are the examples. You are the ones that we're going to be seeing those things manifest on the wild animal attacks, okay? The cannibalism, the, 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 the I mean, just the deadly judgments is going to be happening upon them, all right? And we're, I mean, we, we just, we warn so often that it just, it just sounds, you know, like a broken record, but so be it because that the, the warning time is very, very close to being over. This is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 5. It says, Thus saith the Lord power, and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. You see, you hear that? There's no good in this. The good comes after. <laughs> but by that, by the by the time we hit that after, it's gonna, the world is gonna be a very different place. Alright? These people have, man, the world today has not seen anything. And yet they're about to be faced with something that nobody in existence has seen before or experienced before that is the evil that's coming do you understand that this evil is coming from the lord he has designed it from the beginning to happen in this time it's the the the, the, the hell that's coming is designed to be a hell unlike any other meaning you tell people oh well earthquakes have been happening throughout all of existence well famines are nothing new you don't get it you just don't get it. it. Obviously, famines are nothing new. Obviously, earthquakes are nothing new. But it got to be something new about this kind if it said it's a, t a thing like never before. Maybe the earth needs to open up and swallow a couple of people so they can understand, oh, oh, shit, okay, that's new. Maybe that's what they like to see. But don't worry. You're going to have you're gonna have a lot of news for you to experience. Oh, that's what he... Oh, well... All right, verse six, it says, an end is come. The end is come. The end. You hear that? The end. This is the end of the world. Okay. I don't know if anybody came up there and told you, but yeah, this is the end of the world. Where we at? Okay. And these devils think that the new world is going to go one way, but we know that the new world is going to really go another way. All right. It says it watches for thee. Behold, it is come. The day of trouble is coming and it is watching for you. Them, them, them demons and them spirits, matter of fact, let's go to it, that are created for vengeance, they're waiting. They're eagerly waiting. All right, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus um, 39 and 25. It says, for the good are good things created from the beginning, so evil things for sinners. The principal things for the whole use of man's life are water, fire, iron, and salt, flour of wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the grapes, and oil, and clothing. But you see, Esau makes it so much more complicated than that. No, 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 no. What do you mean? No, oh, hell no. No, 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 no. You got to have the booty. You got to have the unnecessary things. You got to have the vanity. Throw that up in there. You got to have the adulteress. You got to have the sluts, the whores. You got to have so much things on your mind that you forget about the necessities of life. You forget about the whole duty of man being to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And now you think the whole duty of man is for you to serve yourself. No. The created was created to serve the creator. Right? People made phones for people. People made cars for people. <laughs> All right, we didn't make cars for us to, how does that make, no, you make, if there was not a need for a car, it wouldn't have been made. There was a need for the car. Well, who needed the car? All oh, right, the people who made the cars, right? So 
if the Most High made us, then there was a, 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 a reason why we were made. And that was in one way or another to benefit the one who made us. Else, why were we made? Right? Okay. But Esau says, no, 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 no. You don't serve the creator. No, no, you serve yourself. Okay. Phones don't serve themselves. They serve us. The things that we make serve us. Chairs serve us. Beds serve us. Okay. So it says, all these things are are for good to the godly. To the sinners, they are turned into evil. Verse 28, there be spirits that are created for vengeance. Now, let's, let's look up the word vengeance. Vengeance. All right. Definition. Oh, interesting. Punishment inflicted or retribution exacted for an injury or wrong. Whoa. Revenge. Oh, my gosh. Revenge is in the Bible? Come back. Quid pro quo. Tit for tat. Wait, I thought you weren't supposed to live eye for eye. Whoa, is that retaliation? <laughs> the most high wants retaliation. He has spirits that are created for what? For vengeance, for retaliation, for revenge. You know why? Because the most high is angry. That's why Shai said the day of what? Vengeance burns in his heart. So yeah, Shai is coming for revenge. What did you think you were going to do everything you did to him? Plus the things you do to us. And oh, we just all let it go. Let's be the bigger person. <laughs> yeah, let's be the bigger person when it's convenient for you. No, 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 no. All right, you're going to get this work. It says, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. So these spirits that are created for vengeance, they actually do damage. They attack. They hurt people. It says, in the time of destruction, they pour out their force. And where are we right now? We are about to be in the time of the greatest destruction that has ever been on the face of the planet Earth. So guess what? We are going to start seeing those spirits created for vengeance. Now you have spirits that um, um, overtake people and have them, you know, take uh, um, carry out certain judgments. But you also have spirits that come in their spirit form to come and do damage and kill people. And, I mean, when the Lord sent the angel to plague Israel because of David... Uh, numbering the people he didn't do it through a man he sent the lord sent an angel that came and did it okay it says fire and hail famine and death all these were created for vengeance and we are in the time of vengeance so we can expect to see these things happening on a scale that we've never seen before but wait there's more teeth of wild beasts and scorpions serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction this kind of judgment is not the one that oh i learned my lesson and, and then it stops no 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 no. this is the one oh i learned my lesson but it keeps going until you die that's what destruction means to be destroyed you die okay it says they shall rejoice in his commandment and what is his commandment ezekiel 9 and 5 let not your eyes spare neither have ye pity that's the lord's commandment all right to his deaf angels and they shall be ready upon where? Upon earth. Whoa. When need is, and when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. And guess what? We are in that time. This is why it's going to be a time like never before. Because full-on death angels unleashed on the earth to go wild and rampant and do damage hasn't happened before. Okay? Not on the level at, let me say it like this, not on the level that is going to happen now. All right? Th these are the times that we are warning you about. These are the things that we are telling you about. That people go around thinking everything is all sweet and they don't understand just how bad the world is about to get. And it's not going to stop here. This is only the beginning of sorrows, as Yahweh Shai said. Isaiah 13 and 6. How ye for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. And they shall be afraid. Yes, people are going to be scared. And you know what fear does? Fear is a great, great um, humbler, for lack of a better word. It humbles people. Okay? And it destroys pride. It says, And sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth, 
they shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. People are going to be scared. They're going to be nervous. They're going to be crying. They're not going to know what to do. Oh my gosh, what's going on? I thought they said if we just comply, everything will be good. No, they don't get the final say. The Most High gets the final say. And you know what his final say is? If you're not of my elect, to hell with you. Okay? And you're going to feel that kind of hell. Verse 9, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. So, when the time of the Lord's judgment comes, that means what? Sinners are still going to be here. Oh, sin, and all that is done away with, and the Lord died for me to go on sinning, right? Okay. Well, you try and test out that theory, and we're going to go with the other one, which is repentance and seeking the Lord. And we'll see how it ends out or it turns out for you. All right, verse 11. I'm going to jump down. For I will punish the world for their, uh, for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. That's why I said it was a day of vengeance, of revenge. Why? Let's read the definition again. Punishment inflicted or retribution exacted for an injury or wrong. Iniquity is wrong. Evil is wrong. So you're going to be punished, all right, for your evil and your iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Okay? And that's going to be through the hell that's going to be going on. That pride is going to be nowhere to be found. Okay? It's going to be so scarce, it'll be like it doesn't exist. All right? Amongst, amongst the, the uh, those that are getting that work. Because you will have some that even after all this are still going to be proudful and not repent. But that's okay because the Lord got signed for them too. Verse 12, and I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. And this is talking about an elect man of the Lord. And the reason they're going to be so precious is because the Lord is going to have a hedge over them to protect them and to provide for them. So if you are under their hedge, under their household, you will be good. You will be protected as well. And that's why people are going to be seeking men of the Lord. And that's why they were likened not even onto gold, but as being more precious than fine gold, more valuable. Let's look up the word precious. Okay. Yaquar. And it says, um, to esteem, be prized. You got these these proud women talking about where the prize, or the scriptures say otherwise. Why didn't it say a woman? <laughs> it says, be valuable, be precious, be costly, be appraised. All right. To be, uh, oh. Be highly valued. So the Lord is going to make his elect, all right, high value men. And people are going to see it in that time. Okay? But these are the evils that are coming and the evils that we're warning you about. All right? And the Most High is about to bring great death and destruction very, very, very soon. So repent. Because if you don't, the Lord is going to destroy you. With that, I hope you are edified. In closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory. To Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakudash. Until next time, Shalom.